Alright, hey everybody. This is just a quick little video lesson showing you how to do the solo to Doesn't Remind Me by Audio Slave. Um, Tom Morello, he's one of my favorite guitarists of all time. He's up there with Paul Gilbert, Buckethead, in my opinion. And, um, this is probably one of my favorite solos that he does. It doesn't really use much, like, special, like, effects type things like he normally does. It's got some wah, some delay, I think. And, um, other than that, it's really just plain, like, Classic rock. <laughs> so, hey, I want to start off with this. There's four bends on the on an A, 14th fret G string. Unbend it, or and you're gonna do that. Alright, we good so far? Um, I recommend getting a tab for this so you can look at it and actually see what I'm playing here. I'm just slowing it down for you so you can see basically where the fingers go. Then, doing this. Uh, it's kind of confusing to get the hang of. Um, I highly recommend you listen to the solo and uh, sort of pick out exactly what he's doing. But that's basically what it is. Um, 12, 14 on the D string. on the B string, then you skip right to the 12th fret on the E string, go back to the 12th fret on the B string, 15, 12, 15th, and then you bend up a half step, that covers that, then he goes into some octave stuff where it goes like this. Um, which you want to do an upstroke on the first note, downstroke on the second, so you can play that. And you're ending with this. Then you want to turn on the wah and make it go like this. Well, wait here. What you want to do is this. And then adding some waddle sound like this. Not incredibly hard to do, it's kind of hard to do that kind of fast. Then, you want to do this. So this is the 17th and 15th frets on the B string. 15th fret on the E string. Then 17, 17, 15, 17. Then you're skipping up here to the 19th, 17th, and 15th. Um, and then he goes sort of like. Which is all for that. It's really confusing. Um, it's hard to figure out exactly what he's playing, but that should get you really close. Then, I think he turns on some delay there. And plays this. Um, this is really, this really is fast. But I'll play it kind of slow for you, just so you can see exactly what he's doing. It's on the 17th, 15th, 14th, on the E and B strings. So it goes like this.
Okay, here's that slow. And I, uh, I think he just does like regular notes there with some wand stuff, but I don't know. That just sounds good to me. So it'll sound sort of like um, I'm not even sure. What, uh, it says there's delay on the tab, but I don't know what it said as. So. Yeah, that sounds nasty when I do that. sort of bend up on that last one, and then you go right back into the chorus. So all together it's going to sound something like this. So that's basically it. Get the tab for it. That's basically how I learned it. UltimateGuitarArchives.com Doesn't remind me. Um, peace out. Whoa. Hope you like it.